Dude, did you see? We've talked a lot on this channel about how nuanced PvP is in Escape from Tarkov. There is no one tip that's going to win you every fight, and every fight requires the context of where you are on the map, how many enemies there are, what gear you have on. This is another one of our lessons from Beyond the Grave, where we take a look at clips from my stream where I died, and we try to figure out what I should have done there and pull out what we can learn and apply to future raids. And in this video, we are talking about overplaying. Aggression is oftentimes the key to success in Escape from Tarkov, but if you don't know how to use that aggression, you oftentimes just end up running at your enemy, putting yourself in a bad spot, and giving them a free kill. If you like this video, think about dropping a like or maybe commenting down below. YouTube tells me that about 67% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you like the content, think about subscribing. I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch as well. All those links will be down below. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so we got two clips for this one. We'll watch the clip back, then go back and talk about it, then move to the next clip. Uh, the setup for this first one is I'm on, on reserve. I'm solo. I don't play reserve a whole lot, especially solo. And I'm trying to kind of like get better at that and hone that skill, which is why we're down here. And so we hear some guys. We try to be super aggressive and this happens. I'm trying to get some goddamn raiders. I was stuck. I thought it was one. It was two. I was stuck there. I shouldn't have been so aggressive. I'm trying to overplay reserve by being aggressive. So I wanted to keep that last part in there because you can notice that I immediately understood what I was doing. I immediately called it out that I was overplaying it, that I'm trying to kind of overplay the chatty underground of reserve. And then that's what got me killed. So we can kind of walk that back and see what happened there. As I got to right about here, I heard somebody jump and then I heard the water. And one of the things, one of the most important things in any PvP fight is map knowledge. And so I've been trying to get a better understanding of the underground here on reserve. So I hear the water. I know where this guy is. And uh, so I'm like, okay, push over, get to an aggressive spot where you can be in like uh, a more advantageous spot than them really quickly. So I just like kind of insta sprint and run over here. And there's a bunch of things to break down here why this was a kind of a bad idea. Pushing myself in this corner gives me a right hand peek. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, be the Chad, get the right hand peek, you know, be aggressive. The problem is, is that this right hand peek is good, yes, but it gives me absolutely nowhere to go. I push all the way up into this room. I've got a right hand peek and that's it. I can't close this door because the door isn't open inside, it's open outside. And then I've got nowhere to go. I can't back away from this engagement without exposing myself to where these guys are again. So I was so focused on getting a right hand peek. I was so focused on getting a good position that I ended up putting myself in a terrible position with no way out, which is absolutely what got me killed. Additionally, something else I could have seen here is I heard somebody on in the water, but I didn't know how many there were. I can see this flashlight here. Like it's, he's lighting it up. As soon as I peek this corner, he's watching it with this flashlight. And if I had kind of seen that on my way in if I had noticed like it once again map knowledge if I played reserve a lot that there isn't just normally a big glare on this door and I saw that this was a flashlight that would be something that tells me hey he's watching the door and I could back away from this going back we talk all the time being able to adapt on a dime in a fight I shouldn't have taken this as a position I should have seen it coming and uh, I tried to I tried to execute well. I had my gun up and ready to shoot uh, as I kind of peeked this door. They were farther to the right. They're left my right than I thought they'd be. You can see I am now seeing that there's two of them. Flashlights are pretty crazy in Tarkov. I probably should have had my flashlight on as well. I tried to pick up a clean kill and I'm in this corner and I know that this is going to go bad for me. I've got a red thorax, two people and nowhere to go. They're both holding this door. Potentially blind firing around the corner here, potentially even pushing outward into cover here because going back is just rough or even jumping across the doorway, across this door frame to the, to the right side of this hall. These are things that maybe could have given me a little bit of extra time. I tried to... I tried to basically think that they're, they know I'm in a bad spot, so they're going to be super aggressive so I can pre-fire this corner and try and get super lucky. But even this swing was too wide because there's two of them. So even if I got lucky and killed the first guy, I'm swung too wide out into this doorway and the, the second guy is just going to kill me. So we were trying to be aggressive. We were trying to be the reserve mains, the chads downstairs, and I just overplayed it, put myself in a really bad position, and then didn't really react well to that position either. So we've got one more clip on reserve as well where a similar thing happens. I think the only guy left here is a PMC. Yeah, 
yeah. Dude, did you see how many times I shot him in the face, dude? I can't compete with an Alton. I should have backed up there. So once again, I immediately am able to figure out what I did wrong. I should have backed up there. Yes, of course, I wouldn't have known there was an Alton, but there's a lot to break down here. There's a lot I could have done better. So I'm trying to slow creep. The kind of setup for this is I'm down here trying to get raiders for a quest and I killed a few raiders and I went back to pack mags and heal. That's why I went back into the staircase. And then I heard, I was like, I think there's somebody here. And he starts throwing nades. It's a PMC. So I'm kind of trying to figure out where he is and what angle I can get on him. So this is another thing that I do quite frequently that I see a lot of people do. I should absolutely not have shot him right here. I gave up my position and I hit him, I think once in the leg, my recoil takes me up over to the cover he's behind and he's already in motion behind that cover anyway. This wasn't like a, a great gotcha moment where he's running directly at me and I'm able to put all shots on target. He's already got momentum moving towards cover and by shooting him, I shot him in the leg once maybe and completely gave away my position on where I was. So this is one of those really nuanced, you kind of have to know where your enemy is moving. You'll see a lot of people do this all the time to bait shots. That's why they run past doorways really quickly because they, you have to react to seeing them. And so you're almost always trailing behind them with your shots. But then now that gives them the audio information of exactly where you are. He didn't mean to do this. He was just looking for me, but I kind of fell into this trap of shooting when I shouldn't have, I should have had better trigger discipline. He might have uh, then rounded the corner or even I could have just saved the ammo and pushed. Even if I chose to give him the information he wanted, that audio information by pushing, I've just completely lost the upper hand um, by giving him exactly where I am and letting him know that I'm here. So I try to, once again, be aggressive, overplay it, push up, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. This isn't a terribly bad play until I get to about here. I peek him, put some good shots, and I start hearing his teammate shoot. It's a gun that I know isn't a Raider. It's another suppressed gun. Uh, it's either a third party, but I'm assuming it's his teammate because he's not shooting at him. I think he's shooting at other people back there. And so now my situation is this. This guy, I've definitely put a few good shots on, but my magazine is almost out of ammo. There's two of these people and I should have backed up. There's a lot of cover behind me that I could have gotten to. There's I could have even gotten back to that staircase and ran straight up, disengaged from this fight, hit the reload. Like we said at the beginning, it's all about the gear you have as well. I'm using subsonic and my MP7. I like using subsonics. I would rather have that recoil control over the damage and pen. However, when I'm 1v2ing guys downstairs in the uh, underground of reserve, I kind of have to keep that top of mind that like, look, my mag is almost empty. It's not the best ammo out there. I should probably reset this fight. But instead, I try and overplay it. I do the same thing from that first clip by pushing myself into a right hand peak that gives me nowhere to go. I try and swing on him. There is no backing up at this point. There is no, there's no escape plan. There's nowhere else to go. I push myself all the way to the edge of the hall and now it's like, kill this guy or die. He's got an Ash 12. Now I I can see he's got an Alton, not sure what armor he had, but I've got, this is a terrible situation for my ammo. I'm running out of ammo. Uh, he's got really good armor and I don't have a place where I can, you know, break away and then reset this fight and put enough shots on him to kill him. He's pushing up. I do hit him a bunch of times as you can see, but he's just tanking it and he's got that big Ash 12 and just sticking it right in my face. So this is another one of those times where it's just too aggressive overplaying it, wanting to be aggressive, wanting to get better at PVP, but there's so many things, there's so many nuances to think about. And and like we say almost in every single video, being able to adapt, being able to hear the second guy, see the flashlight and immediately switch up the plan. That is what makes a great Escape from Tarkov player so great. So I hope that this helped. I hope that these Beyond the Grave videos help kind of break down situations that I get in that maybe you get in as well. You can pull some of that information, apply it to your raids, and hopefully you can go out there and start slaying out some PMCs in Escape from Tarkov. Thank you so much, as always, for taking the time to check out this video. If you liked the video, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Like we said earlier, I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord server is an awesome place to be. We have over 13,000 members now, so that link is down below as well. Thank you again for stopping by, and I will definitely see y'all on the next one.